Okay. What we have here is a fabric container in lieu of a plastic container. It's called our Smart Pod. It's an aeration container. And what I mean by that is that the root will come up to the side of the fabric. It's 100% porous. The oxygen actually drives the root tip out, causing it to branch and fiber from the outside in. No root circling, no void in the middle like you would have in a plastic container. It uh, just creates a, a zillion more roots. More roots, more fruit, more flowers, more stems. Uh, another attribute, it will, it, you can't overwater it. It'll throw water off of it. And another great thing about it is that it will not get hot. It keeps it by evaporative cooling. It, uh, it's like wearing a, a wet t-shirt on a hot sunny day. It cools you off. The root system won't get any hotter than 82, 83 degrees on the hottest day out here in California. The, uh, if you're going to be growing a tomato plant in it, I want you to be in a 20 gallon size. Stay in cool. You can use a heavier mix. It's better for the plant. Something you would never dream of using in a plastic container. But it'll last for years. You can, it, when you're done with it, it's easy to use. You just fold it up, put it in the, uh, put it, get it out of the sunlight. Uh, you can put it in a washing machine to wash it out. If you're worried about pathogens or, or a bacteria of any kind, just dip it into a 1 to 10 chlorine solution or hydrogen peroxide and let it dry out really well. It's that simple. We're creating food. We're manipulating the root system, creating more roots, so you are able to give it more water, more organic fertilizer. And the plant's just going to do better. You get a much bigger plant in, a, in our fabric container as you would a plastic container. You can use a regular potting mix, like I said earlier, uh, but I want you to heavy it up, make it a more natural mix, with more peat, more compost. But you can use a straight potting mix if you want, uh, but as those roots proliferate and as the uh, mix breaks down, if you will, you won't be watering any more or any less than you would if it was in the ground. The plant will tell you when it wants water. We have one, we have two, threes, and a five here. We go from a one gallon all the way up to a 400 gallon, but I have made a thousand gallon pot. We can make a, we custom make like bags. It's a bed itself. It's like a raised bed. It is a, the perfect raised bed. Wow. You know where the water's going, you, you know where the okay. nutrients are going, and it's, you can, it's mobile. You can pick it up and move it if you need to. Because you guys have handles on some of the larger models. Yes, sir. And we can add handles to any size that you want. And uh, of course, you know, once you get over a 20 gallon, 25 gallon size, the weight, the handles are. You, you need more than just a couple of people to lift it around. So what kind of materials is made on this? It's called a non-woven polypropylene. It came out in the 60s. It's really an erosion control fabric. They, uh, they put it under roadways and up embankments today because it holds the dirt in but lets the water flow. It's using, they have a lot of different uses for it now. It's a matter of heat, and uh, they can add chemicals to it and put, put it in molding. Uh, we have no chemicals in our bag. It's an, completely inert. There's no leaching of any kind of chemical at all. So there's nothing to break down and nothing. To uptake at all? Nothing at all. Okay. Yeah, we've done some tests, and it's, it's, it's been uh, some days a trans cooler, some days the black is just the same. So uh, the jury's still, but I think it's still nominal about the temperature difference. For, for lifetime on these pots? I mean. Here in California, a minimum of five years, but probably more like eight to ten. Uh, again, sunlight's the only thing that breaks it down. And when not, not in use, I tell people to put it in the shade or fold it up, put it in the garage until the next spring. Uh, it, it's going to last for years. Great, we're seeing great results, great improvement in the hydroponic system simply because the roots are coming up to the fabric. They're meeting that, that root tip, that apical dominance of the root tip is meeting an, an impediment. Whenever it does that, it branches and fibers, causing more roots. Again, more roots, more fruit, which allows more uptake of the nutrients. You just get a better plant quicker. Occasionally, we'll get some uh, algae or mo mo moss buildup on the side. That doesn't hurt a thing. I mean, it's, if anything, it's going to keep the uh, plant even uh, more moist because the, the, the fabric also wicks water up the side for more even watering systems is what you need also with your plants. So the algae is... Algae is... Algae, algae's fine? Algae's fine. Okay, I know that. I'm just trying to educate yeah. the people watching the video. Right. No, so but you will see that. I have seen that myself. See some so. greening. Maybe on the bottom where most of the moisture is sitting. Maybe you might see some greening. No issues. No issues. Just yeah. natural occurrence. Right. And what I really like about the bottom of the fabric, of the, of the, of the smart pot, is that it's thicker. 
it's heavier, and you will get hair roots through the fabric. And the good thing about that, it'll attack into the ground. Uh, all the water and nutrients you put into the bag up top, those, that, that stuff will be there for those roots to recycle right back into the plant. So in theory, you won't have to use as much fertilizer, but it's gonna get optimum fertilizer from those roots that are attacking in underneath the bag. Unlike plastic pot, where it's gonna run out the drain holes and disappear. This stuff is staying underneath the bag, underneath the fabric, and, and again, an uptake is occurring. You, uh, you can start your tomato plant, let's say, early in, the, in your house, in a, in a little hoop house, a greenhouse, get it going, and then when, it's, when the weather has broken, it's warm up, you can just take a little butter knife and go around the side about an inch deep just so you can get it started. Now what's happening here, the roots have not got into the fabric, but your mix has, and the, and the root has, rip, uh, has wrapped around the mix. So you're going to peel this off gingerly, peel it down, and in the act of doing that, you're scoring the root tips. There, you have enough roots in here, it's going to hold the soil, it's not going to break down, and as you roll it down, you score those root tips, like I said. So when you move it into the next arena, be it the ground or a larger container, you excited the plant into its next growth stage by, by essentially pruning those roots on the outside. Uh, plus the amount of food that's been created, the, the plants literally, literally blow up in that next stage. I've seen that, it's, it's, it's just incredible. A great way to start a plant, a great way for uh, uh, producing pl bigger plants faster. It's a smart pot, great product. Where is it made? It's made in Oklahoma. From the, we like to say from the bag to the little tag, wherever it is, it's all made in the U.S. of A. So, all made in the U.S.A. So this yes. is a product that's been designed, engineered, developed, right. it's being manufactured here in the United States. And the great thing about that is that quality control is an issue for us, always has been. I'm able to control this fabric. I can reject it. I want good airflow evenly all the way around the bag. Uh, I'm able to control that here in the United States and also keep some money at home. Well, on it, it's not going to tear easily. No, you, and you won't. It'll stretch a little bit. It's a washing machine, essentially. So it's got to be able to hold up in the right. washing machine. Right. Let's just don't throw it in the dryer. Oh, there uh, you go. But it, no, it works great. So you do recommend to hang dry them when they put it through a washing machine. Yes, yes. And make sure it's good and dry before you go into that next plant cycle.